All right, and welcome back to part two of the beginner route of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights All Monster Token Speedrun. This video is going to be covering from coast to the helmet upgrade. Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So, in this next level, Coast 2, we're going to introduce uh, something uh, known as... Uh, we're going to do a cycle known as Zero Cycle, but uh, I alluded to this before, uh, but basically, if you B-dash, you can B-dash around enemies as long as your head is facing away from them, right? And so we're going to use this tactic to move around these guys so we don't bonk into them. Uh, this is going to be a pretty difficult difficult cycle, but we're going to do that we're just going to walk down this way. We're going to dash every single time, and we're just going to dash around all of these enemies. And basically, as you go around the enemies, you're just going to do that, and then you're going to jump, and then make past this first box before you get smashed. Um, this cycle is pretty difficult to do. Uh, it's pretty difficult to get. I didn't get it for a long time as a beginner, but I just want to show you uh, the cycle. And basically, you're just going to avoid the, the guys by aiming your head away. And you can aim your head pretty far away, too. Um, but, uh, you know, if you don't get the cycle, basically what it's going to look like, you know, if I'm walking down here, I turn this corner, and let's say, you know, I get hit, like, he here, you know? And then, I, and then I keep going. It's not the end of the world. You know, I bonk him, whatever. You know, you can still like get down here and then you can just walk through and then make it through. It's basically just like a six second optimization that you can go for. And then we're just going to walk through here. We're going to collect all of these uh, things. And then we're going to collect our second token of the run. So how we're going to collect the second token is that we're going to actually walk across the top of these boxes. And how we're going to do that, we're, what we're going to do is that we're going to... Uh, we're going to get on this lip on this door. We're not going to leave. We're just going to get on this lip. And that's because if we get on this lip, we have the height required to jump up to this box. And if we're, if we're not on the lip, we can't jump onto the box. But this lip actually gives us the height needed. And then we're going to jump on this box. Now, an important thing for box etiquette in this game is that if you are, do not jump as a box is moving up. Because if you jump as a box is moving up, you will die like that. You will just clip through the box. So, uh, in general, you do not want to be uh, airborne while a box is traversing up at you because it's very easy to uh, have the box clip through you and, and you die, right? And this will probably happen to you. Um, I'm trying to recreate it, uh, but... But again, you know, the box will just slide right through you. So here, you're just going to jump up. And then I'm just going to show you the cycle that I do. And then get that token and, and, and move on. That's kind of a lot, but what we're going to do is that we're just going to jump up here. And then when this travels up, we're going to jump onto this uh, light preserver. And then as that comes up, just jump on that. Here, I like to jump on this. So if you jump on these like frames, you're actually completely okay. So on this box, I like to stand on this frame. And so normally it's coming up and then I f run down and then I jump up to this one. So from here, this guy, you know, he goes down, uh, he goes up. And so basically he's going down when I get here. And so I like to jump up here and then jump down from the top there and then make my way through. Um, so what this is going to look like in sequence uh, is, is again, this will be a little fast, but again, just make sure you're not j jumping onto a thing as it's coming up. Just wait for this to go all the way up and then just jump into the token and then dash on through. Um, alternatively, uh, you can just go uh, box to box and just take it a lot slower. You know, you can just you can just sit here and then you can jump along the box there and then get off. Um, you will most likely die in this level uh, a good bit. Uh, getting used to the boxes is really difficult to do. Um, but like outside of, I promise, like outside of th these cringe box, out of these, like outside of these cringe boxes and, uh, and Coast One, it gets a lot easier. Uh, so those are like your two biggest like problem points. And then here, we're just going to kind of just walk through this level. You know, you can jump through these snack boxes if you like. You don't really need them. Um, so I'm just going to dash straight on through, but you can collect them if you want. Uh, you don't really need the snacks, though. And then we're going to use uh, this flying fish 
uh, to gain some iframes and we're going to get to uh, the token. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to jump, hit the fish, and we're going to become Great Dane Jesus, walk across, jump, and hit the token, and then you just ride the boat back, and then boom, we're, we're back here. So again, and then if that's a bit too uh, difficult for you, oh my god, that can happen by the way. You can just kind of get like sucked into the water, which is unfortunate. Um, but ooh, that's a little embarrassing. But what we're going to do is just jump into this. We're going to walk across this guy. And you can actually jump to this boat instead. If you're having uh, troubles uh, going from the fish to that boat, uh, you know, it's just like a, a bit too, you know, long for you. You know, you're, you're dying. Uh, this boat is closer to you. And so uh, you can do that. And so. Oh. Bam. And we're just going to get to that. Basically, you're just going to need to just recognize if you're going to get sucked down. And then, yeah. An important thing to know uh, is that, uh, quick tangent, if you die in this level, I highly recommend exiting the level and then coming back in. Because of the, the same thing with, uh, with, the, with the Void Warp, is that if you fail the Void Warp, basically, again, same thing with water, is that it will just act differently and you can actually die in the boats and you can get... Uh, what we call boated um and you just don't want that so if, if you die in this level going for this just exit and re-enter just so you don't accidentally die again and then after we collect this token what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna you know basically just get this token and then we're just gonna ride this boat back and then go across not too much to do with that token again you can get these snack boxes if you want but you will most likely not need them and then just jump over these guys jumping over enemies can allow you to uh, basically just not get hit by them and then we have now completed uh, fishy skip entirely we have now skipped the levels fishy because we've reached this warp gate and then now we're going to go get the helmet because we don't have enough snacks to pay this uh, snack gate right and moreover we don't have enough snacks to pay that snack gate but uh, we also don't want to go through there quite yet because past the snack gate is which way if you remember correctly and which way has the super smash upgrade and we can't get the super smash upgrade until we have the helmet so now we're just going to go and go get the helmet. And so from this warp gate, uh, what we're going to do, if you don't know the map, uh, we start here. You're going to go left once, up twice, and you're just going to go back to Mr. Machine. So you're going to go from uh, Coast 3 to, to Mr. Machine. And then we're going to warp here. Um, and then now uh, we're just going to kind of just hold direct left here and then we're just going to run and run and run and then we're going to jump up and collect this key and then we're going to make our way into hedge. So uh, with hedge, uh, we're basically just going to run straight to this level. Uh, so just try to hit as many snacks on your way. Uh, you're probably not going to hit them all. Uh, which is completely fine again snacks are pretty neg negligible in this category so if you ever like miss a snack or miss like any snacks that i'm missing just keep just keep just keep it pushing you know um collect these snacks and then we're basically just gonna you know try to try to hit the snack line we're basically just gonna make our way through this level the next couple levels are pretty straightforward because we're not collecting any tokens we're not doing anything we're just really just we are literally just running through uh these levels um, so here, you know, in Hedge 2, we're again just kind of running through this level because uh, we need to get to the helmet and we're just kind of on our way to the helmet here and we're just going to ride this platform up. There is a cycle known as Yeet Cycle here. Uh, I don't recommend uh, learning it. It's, it saves two seconds and it's the most inconsistent trick in the game. So uh, we're just going to kind of just walk over here, just collect some of these snack boxes. Um, and then we're just gonna kind of just make our way just like again just straight line through this level not too much happening You know, just try not to die try not to get hit by things and then make our way into Hedge 3 and so uh, in, in Hedge 3 what we're going to do is that we're just gonna hold right and then we're going to jump over that Little guy that's shooting there and then we're gonna just dash up this hill and then we're gonna do a trick known as uh, SCS or skull cliff skip um, This trick what we do is we just hold uh, up left here and then we just walk through the gate this will be the easiest thing that you're going to do. And then you're just going to open the gate and then we're going to go into Miss Behaven. So again, just hold up left on the D-pad. You're going to clip through. And then in Miss Behaven, again, this is another level where we're just going to run straight through and then we're just going to make it to Skull 4. All right, uh, future in Astana here for a very quick thing about uh, misbehaving before you enter uh, Skull 4, because I forgot to mention it, is that if you uh, jump here, uh, there's a cutscene. 
Uh, this is kind of important, and I completely forgot about the cutscene, but there is a cutscene here. So just uh, whenever you're entering Skull 4, uh, just make sure you're down here when you enter and just like uh, basically just jump and hit, hit the X button. Because if you jump over here and you try to hit the X button, you know, if you jump over here, you're gonna you're gonna run into a cutscene. So just just be wary of the cutscene. Just you know, when you whenever you come over here, just jump and hit X, just like I I did when I showed you. Um, but anyway, back to back to pass me. Basically, what we're going to do in Skull Four is I'm going to show you the movement in Skull Four and just try to replicate it as best as you can. I'm going to be going for some certain cycles that I will point out. But uh, as this is really just a, a level that we just run through, there's not too much going on. I'm not going to explain it that much, and so let's just let's just, just go through. We're just gonna we're just gonna try to run fast. So uh, in this level, you're just gonna kind of hold right, and you're just gonna kind of just make your way uh, through this level. Just try to copy my movement, um, and then you know this is one. This is a t notorious level for for dying. This is a very easy. This is like. Basically, like, if you can get through Skull 4 without dying, you're doing a very good job as long as you're, you know, going fast. Uh, we're going to kind of jump up here and we're going to collect the, these two snack boxes. And then we're just going to kind of just dash off here. And then we're going to go and then we're going to make this uh, platform right here. And then I like to jump once and then do a double jump. It just allows for timing to be a bit better. And then we're just going to make it through uh, here. Again, you do not need to copy my movement exactly word for word here because I'm doing a lot of single jumps, uh, a lot of things that are a little bit risky. You can wait for certain things just to make sure you don't die. But I just wanted to, you know, show roughly close to the fastest thing that you can do in this level. And then we're basically just going to make our way uh, up here. Um, oops. Uh, basically, I like to go around the back site there. And then we're going to make it to the top here. And you're going to notice that uh, there is a platform in the back. Uh, this platform is going to go down. And what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, jump onto it. And we're going to do something known as a skid jump. So a skid jump essentially just extends the amount of coyote frames that we have once we leave a ledge. And then we're going to use those coyote frames to get over uh, here. What we're going to do is that we're going to B dash off of here. We're going to release the R button. And that will put us into a skidding animation. So... Again, if we dash, we'll just skid, right? And then we can have two jumps rather than if we were to hold R and run off. I only have one jump, you see? Much more difficult. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to hold R and we're going to release the R button and then just jump to this using uh, skid jumps. And then we're going to make our way into uh, Skull 3. And so uh, these next couple levels, there's not much going on again. Uh, we're just gonna kind of just bulldoze through these levels. There's no tokens. There's no tricks. It's just straight-up movement sections um, Again, if you know if you're struggling with movement, I recommend my movement guide It'll help you, you know, learn the game a lot But we're not gonna kind of we're not gonna stick on things that we don't we we're not gonna spend time on things That we don't really need to spend time on so we're just gonna kind of just move uh, Through here and we're just gonna kind of be dash our way uh, through this level all right, so uh, before we go into Skull 2, uh, just a quick thing about this level is that what we're going to do is that we're going to wait for a second when we load in. We're going to remain neutral, wait for a second when we load in, and then as soon as we we hear Scooby load in, we're going to like wait for like half a second and then go to the right. And this is to avoid a, a fishy here. So uh, I'm just going to hold direct right, and I'm going to try to jump over this guy. You're going to see he hits you, right? He turns immediately and hits you. But if you wait for like half a second, you know, you load in, wait, and then you can jump over without uh, getting hit by this guy. So uh, I like to wait half a second, hold direct right, and then like wiggle up like that. So, and then we're just going to uh, make our way through. You know, wait half a second, do a little wiggle up, and then we're just going to dash on through here. Um, and then just kind of just make our way uh, through Skull 2. Um, again, a Skull Cliff is a notorious, uh, easy levels to die in. So if you die, don't feel bad. It's just, you know, moving this game is pretty difficult to, to do and pretty difficult to master. But we're just going to kind of run through here and then we're going to go into Skull 1. So Skull 1 is, a, is another level where we're going to do, we're going to finally do another, another trick. And so what we're, we're going to do is it's known as Summer Early after the uh, Speedrunner Summer because she found it. 
This is her trick. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a Hail Mary jump and then jump along the wall. And then we're going to jump across a big gap. So uh, how we're going to do this is that we're going to hold right as soon as we go into this uh, level. And then we're going to jump, collect these things, jump on this guy here, and then jump on that invisible walls um, along this. Now this uh, trick is pretty forgiving. There's a lot of invisible walls here, as you can see. I can almost just jump along this wall a lot. As you can see, there is a lot of walls. There are a ton of invisible walls on this wall. And so this trick can be pretty forgiving, but also you can just miss the ledges for whatever reason, uh, which is very annoying. <laughs> um, but uh, let's just go through it again. Again, just, you know, you know, collecting these things, hitting this, and just jumping across. And that's summer early. Um, uh, it should be a pretty forgiving ledge. And then we're going to dash over here. And then we're going to do a little bit of a wall climb here. And basically, we're going to jump on this plank here. Jump on this one here. Can I stand on this, actually? Oh, you can't stand on this. Jump on this plank here. And then jump up to this plank. And then... Um, an important thing to note here is that there is a cutscene right here. So if I were to jump like this, I'm going to trigger a cutscene. But uh, I can actually just jump into that cutscene, and then as long as I exit, the, the you can actually hit X and exit the level uh, before uh, you, you, you uh, trigger the cutscene. So you can also just avoid the cutscene altogether if you just jump like this. Um, but like as long as you're going at a decent pace, you'll just be able to... Like even if you're like way back here, you'll be able to activate uh, the 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 gate before, uh, you know, before the cutscene. I just wanted to let you know that there is cutscenes there, so just like you know, be a bit more diligent. Uh, and so again, I'm just gonna I'll just show that in fast motion here. Boom, just like that. Uh, here, let's safe state down here. So again, we're just gonna just ladder up here. So using double jumps and then make our way into hill three um and basically we're just gonna kind of just run up the mountain here and get the helmet um i'll explain i guess why uh we do skull cliff uh backwards skull cliff backwards is basically just uh it's faster to get to the helmet going through skull cliff backwards than it is to go through hedge forwards because hedge four has a really long auto scroller in it and basically the skull cliff levels are a bit shorter so it's about uh it's about two minutes faster to go uh, backwards rather than going through the very long otter scroller and hedge four and all the like greenhouse and hell levels. And also those levels are just hard, harder than uh, skull cliff, to be honest, at least to go faster than them because there's so much random crap that can hit you. But uh, once we make it to the top of the mountain, uh, an important thing is that whenever you uh, collect a power up, Scooby's going to want to pose and we don't want him to pose. So he's going to do this thing and we can't move him for like a second, right? He's going to pose. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to jump to the, the helmet and then we're just going to jump off. And as long as you're moving, you will not pose. So I'm not posing. I'm not posing. I'm not posing. But if I ever stop and I skid, I will start to pose. So you're just going to want to jump into this helmet, uh, break open this box. You're going to collect all of these snack boxes, and then you're going to death abuse. And then now you don't have to worry about the helmet thing. See, we don't have to worry about the helmet. And then we're going to walk up to the warp gate. And then now we're going to warp back to uh, Coast 3, the, the gate that we had before. And so how you get there is you just go across the top here to Mr. Machine, go right here to Sm Smuggler's Cove, and then you're going to go down to Coast for some Ghosts 3. And then we're going to go back to uh, this warp gate. And then uh, here, uh, we're going to go in uh, here to the snack gate, and we're going to pay it. And then you're going to notice that we're, we have a bit over. And basically, don't worry about being over collected in this run. It's kind of the goal. So, all right. And that is the end of part two to this uh, Night of 100 Frights uh, tutorial. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in part three.